All right, 450 in. This one has a complaint of delayed takeoff and slams in the gear. This is uh, more than likely a valve body problem. Uh, we'll get to it when we get there. Oh, wrong socket. Back to an American, I mean metric. 10 millimeters here. Eight millimeters on the other. Eight millimeter on the speed sensor, the filler tube, and the servo. Servos are pretty prone to being rock hard. This one feels pretty good. This one has been rebuilt a couple times by some other shop and uh, the date on it was nine years ago so I don't know I said recently it's not very recent eight millimeter on that speed sensor there eight millimeter here Shift solenoid right there looks pretty burnt. Tip sensor down here. Eight millimeters on all the valve body. So we'll probably be putting shift solenoids on here. Might as well do all three. Pump and valve body will come off now. There's a ring that goes on the front there. I've already put it over there. Here's all of our vanes and our rotor. There's another ring underneath. Our slide looks in good shape. These bearings are very prone to being bad. Always replace them. At least I do. And pump shafts are pretty bad about getting eat up by that also. This sleeve likes to be ring cut. This one looks okay. That valve we're going to be concerned with is going to be... Let's see. Where was it? And it's stuck. It's right there. manual link. Get there out of my way. Pump 
shafts like to break, they like to eat up right here where this bearing goes. This has probably all been replaced. Let's see. I thought it was 13, but apparently it's 15 sixteenths. Memory is not serving me. Take our O ring for our lockup off in the front. There's two 10 millimeters up in there. And then there's five 30 torques in here. Camera's like right in my way. All right, 10 millimeters. Thirteen millimeter right here. All right, when this channel plate comes off, there's springs. There's four springs back here. You need to keep those springs where they come out of. All right. These uh, top two and bottom two are all the same, so we don't have to worry too much about it on this one check your pins on here make sure they're not scored and that they slide free spring back here and spring back here make sure they're not broken Got a washer here, if I can get it off. The washer goes down here. This likes to ring cut right up in here. So check that real good, it looks okay. Chains are bad about stretching. This one's okay. Be careful you don't bend these. They're different sprocket counts, different chain widths, so you're gonna have to, if you need to replace all that, you're gonna have to make sure that you get the exact same stuff. Now, <clears throat> this is what I always did when I was building them. If you wanted to take the support out, you're supposed to pull this linkage out right here. I didn't ever do that. I get a pry bar. I may have to bring this back off a of camera. But I get a pry bar in here. And I bend this back just a little bit. And I get a heel bar. Somebody's already done it. So you pop that up out of there. And then before you go back in, uh, this one's been made, you would break this little area out right here and it allows you to get it in and out without pulling your linkage out of there. And bushings look in good shape. 
these uh, bushings wear out and it'll eat these ring lands up. Looks like somebody put bushings and everything in it. So, may not have to put any in. Sprag's turning counterclockwise, locking clockwise. Need to check this on your support. Uh, that bushing is bad. Yeah, that's a whole lot of play right there. So we'll be putting that bushing in for sure. Band is a little burnt. I'll set these drums off to the side for the momentary. Got a bearing here, a hub. Another bearing, our shell. It's supposed to always pull the back bushing out of your shell so it's got more oiling. Somebody's already done that. Eight millimeters in our pan. filter off eight millimeter on the accumulator up here 30 torques on these brackets Three quarter on the nut. Six millimeter on the bolt. Pull your tubes out. This tube here would like to crack. Come up right down here on this. Make sure it's in good shape. Pull your accumulator out. Oh, come on. your springs aren't broken make sure your pins okay <clears throat> okay boy loosen this up you don't have to take it all the way out pull your servo out this is spring loaded it's gonna really come out of there I usually lay this down so I can get some leverage on the thing cover and the servo likes to get rock hard they're still pretty soft somebody's replaced all of it so that's okay and we can put 
pull our planetary out and it pulls this drum out. We'll take that apart in a minute. Bearing likes to blow up in here. Be careful when you're blowing it off also. He's like to split. Bearing between the planets. Our sun gear drum, make sure our sprag's okay. Turning counterclockwise, locking clockwise. Good. Bearing. A set of clutches down here. Beveled snap ring here. Bevel is going to face up towards you. Yes, yeah, if we can get this thing out of here. Running with the short memory card. All my other memory cards are taken up right now, so I don't know if I'm going to have enough room on this one to get this whole this assembly on here is why I'm trying to hurry. Of course it wants to be difficult on this one. differential come out now. Always just left this washer on here. There's a race on the back here. Rubber molded pistons on these. Sun gears are pretty bad about being uh, bad shape. This one looks really good. Bearing here. Uh, washer and bearing here. Go on the end. Ring gear and shim. Always replace the case bushing. Always, always, always. All right.
This bushing here likes to be bad also. That one looks pretty good. Scrags turning clockwise, locking counterclockwise. Washer. Forward drum here in the cushion plate likes to... This one doesn't have it. If it has a cushion plate, it likes to break. Washer and bearing inside the drum here. cushion plate it looks good let me take these all right snap ring return spring this one's got a steel piston snap ring return spring Molded piston. These feel really good. Snap ring, return spring. Try to not to break your washer. Man, these are really soft. I don't think we'll need to put a piston kit in it. Snap ring, balance piston. Return spring. These are bad about cracking. It still feels really good. Nice and soft. Snap ring, return spring. That has to fit over the relief ball and the piston. And make sure if you change your pistons, if you pull this ring off, because it will not come with the piston. And if you stick it in there without that ring on there, it's not gonna work. This one feels pretty hard. We're going to replace this one. I think we'll go ahead and replace this one also because they like to split. So we'll replace these two. Um, guess that's it for the teardown. Get my coat off my torque converter. We'll put an LS kit, filter, bushing in the drum that goes on the support. These two pistons, the overdrive band, uh, the three shift solenoids, that valve that sticks in the valve body. Uh, I'll check my boost valve. Those are usually worn out also. Uh, that's probably what we'll be putting in this one. <laughs>